Hi, I'm Mary Ann Clyde, a licensed marriage and family therapist working with families and helping them navigate rough roads for over 25 years. In this course, we'll talk about special needs children, what it means in general, what it means to you, and what it means to your child. We'll talk to other parents who have raised or are raising their own special needs children. We'll get feedback from special education teachers and we'll be talking to a pediatrician to discuss nutrition and medication and, and how to best treat your child medically. We'll hear the different diagnoses, how parents worked through their own feelings, where they sought help, and where they found the most effective help and resources so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel as you're seeking resources, suggestions, and advice. We will find out through their experience what worked for them and what didn't. We'll talk about what pitfalls to avoid and perhaps some shortcuts in searching for help. We'll also hear about having special needs child and how that has affected their own families, relationships, and other children, and how to keep your family healthy and strong. As I interview a special ed teacher, we'll see what the IEP process looks like and how to make that work for you and we'll get the inside scoop on what teachers expect and how their involvement in your child's life can be an asset to you as well as to your child. I think the main theme I heard in speaking to these parents is how important it is to connect with other parents who understand what you're going through, how vital it is to ask for help, and how important it is to nurture your intimate relationships and communicate clearly and effectively. Having a child with special needs can certainly put a strain on your marriage, your energy, and affect your other children. You know, not too long ago, one of the moms that I interviewed said that her neurotypical daughter, who is highly intelligent, very good communicator, and wonderful, resourceful little girl, turned to her mom and tearfully said, Mom, why do you and Daddy love Thomas more than me? Well. You can imagine how that felt like a crushing blow to her mom who tries so hard to do it all. But the truth is, there's all sorts of appointments, doctor's visits, therapist appointments, classes, support groups. Almost every day during and after school, there are important meetings that, have, um, that they have to have concerning their ADHD child, who was recently diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum as well. That kind of feeling in the minds of siblings is very common. And even though you love all your kids, a child with special needs requires more physical, emotional, and mental attention just by the needs presented, and your other children can end up feeling neglected. While that might sound like a bad news, it's not. It's just information. And once you're aware of information, you can make the necessary adjustments. Once you know what all family members are feeling, you can be conscious of how vitally clear and direct communication is and how powerful the concept of respect is in a busy family. In my book, Peaceful Parenting, 10 Essential Principles, which is available on Amazon.com, I stress 10 principles that I believe are vital in taking good care of yourself being the kind of person you want to be, and developing yourself into the person that your children want to emulate. I've included the link to the Amazon site with the attachments to this course to make it easy for you to access. Well, respect is one of those most important principles. Respect for yourself, respect for your spouse, your support network, as well as respect for each of your children. Of course, all children are special, not just the ones with special needs. However, for the purpose of this course, we will mostly be talking about your child who learns differently or who must learn to navigate the world in a different way than most children. The parents that I've interviewed for this course have children that have been diagnosed with such things as ADHD, Asperger's syndrome, OCD, cerebral palsy, auditory neuropathy, hydrocephalus, epilepsy, cortical visual impairment, and global developmental delays. These parents have children with varying degrees of autism, oppositional de defiant disorder, sensory processing disorders, as well as learning disabilities in reading and writing, and mixed receptive expressive language disorder, as well as schizoaffective bipolar disorder. So as you well know, this is just a few of the possibilities can make up a catch term, special needs. 
Just because your particular child's diagnosis might not appear on the list, know that there's some very good information that can benefit all parents on these videos. Many of these children have multiple diagnoses, which make things even more complicated. So if that's your experience and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed just now, I want you to sit back, relax, Take a slow, deep breath and be prepared to be surrounded by other parents, teachers, and doctors who are on your side and that of your child. They're here to help you know that you're not alone, to tell you where you might want to look for help and support, and to know that each person in your family, including you, is just as important and special as the next. The last video in this series is a video on mindfulness practices and self-care to help you learn how to calm yourself down and your child as well. How to get grounded when you feel like work is spinning out of control and learn to be grateful and appreciate all the wonderful wor things this world has to offer, even if it's not up to you what you thought you signed up for. Just breathe is principle four in my book. And not only do I say it a lot, I do it a lot, and it helps. So here's to your healthy and happy family.